Hi everyone, my name is Ashok Kumar. So this is the uh, first tutorial of any time. So this is my first project and I'm going to show you how you can simply save your WhatsApp message into Google Sheet. Currently I got a project on any time and I have to do uh, some kind of task using WhatsApp. So I have to save these messages to uh, Google Sheet, search a lot of uh, things in Google and YouTube, but I didn't find any solution that uh, showing simply save WhatsApp messages into Google Sheet. So, uh, if you see in AI agent, uh, you have to use uh, uh, APIs like ChatGPT and uh, Google Gemini, but I, I'm so going to show you you can use without. You can make a system uh, agent that can save directly WhatsApp messages into Google Sheet without using any AI agent. Let me show you the working of this uh, um, uh, automation and then I'm going to show you the instructions how you can build it. Okay, so first of all, I have to click on execute workflow and uh, let me show you the Google Sheet as well. Okay, Google Sheet. Okay, it is waiting for um, trigger event. So trigger event basically whenever we, uh, we are getting message into WhatsApp, uh, it will trigger event and it will save into Google Sheet. Okay, currently I'm not sending any message. Okay, and uh, let me delete everything here so that I can show you. Uh, this is uh, really working. Okay, so we don't have any data in our Google Sheet and uh, here we have a WhatsApp. So this is our WhatsApp. Currently I have logged in in another window and uh, let me just move it a little bit here so that i can show you and uh, okay so let me just type and uh, uh i my name so okay simply save it and you can see that it will trigger an event here and save it to google sheet okay you can see that tick and our data is imported here and if you see in, into message uh, here you can see hi my name is Ashok here we have our message and I am not using any filter here or uh, no text filter so that I can save a lot of things better here I will show you that in later uh, video second part so first of all you have to create a new workflow click on uh, new workflow you will see the empty page here you have to click on uh, whatsapp Okay, WhatsApp Business Cloud, you have to click on this arrow and on messages, click on own messages and uh, then you have to uh, authenticate this. I have already authenticated. Uh, you have to click on create new credentials and you have to provide client ID and client secret key. Okay, so you have to, uh, in order to get this, you have to go to Facebook. Facebook business messenger you have to type and here you will get business manage, message, uh, manager on meta and you have to click on it and you have to do sign in get started okay so I have already signed in and you have to create new business portfolio I will create like a second and a 10 okay and put your name here or put your Put your um, Gmail ID here, okay? So once you click on create, once you created, it will create your uh, business portfolio. I have already created a second and ten. Uh, click on settings here, and in the settings, you have to click on apps. You have to uh, add app. You have to click on create new app ID and then you have to type second and a 10 okay okay contact email you have you can change your contact email okay next use cases you can select other All right, business next. Okay, okay, create app. Uh, it will ask your uh, Facebook password as well, so you can type your Facebook password. 
for security purpose okay it will create your uh, app app here in, into business portfolio okay okay so once you get into your app you have to click on app settings uh, click on basic settings so in the basic app setting you can find out your app id app secret key so you have to click on so uh, in order to get the app secret key and app id so you can copy app id here and paste here and uh, copy your secret key and paste here save it credential uh, tested uh, successfully okay okay uh, connection created and here you can see my second authentication i can select it and here you can see my uh, whatsapp uh, agent is created and now i have to do the uh, i have to set the phone number as well so you again go to the uh, this uh, app second and it an app and uh, go to add product and click on whatsapp setup click on continue Okay, once you click on uh, continue, you have to click on start UP using the API. And here you can see that this is the temporary phone number you will get from uh, Facebook. That is for 90 days for free. And here you can see that. And uh, whatever the message you will get on this phone number, it will directly save into Google Sheet that I am going to uh, uh, create here okay so you can you can use your phone number as well but i'm going to use this test phone number i, I don't want to reveal my phone, phone number okay so uh, that is created and we don't we don't have to do anything here just uh, now we have to set up the google sheets just click on uh, plus button and here you have to search google sheet Click on Google Sheet and click on Append or Update Row in Sheet. And you have to create a credentials I have already created. And you just have to click on Create New Credentials. Sign in with Google. Once you click on Sign in with Google, it will uh, uh, you have to click on your Gmail ID and it, uh, then you have to click on Continue. Okay. So your credentials uh, created successfully. Here you can see that three. Okay. Now you have to create your Google Sheet, empty Google Sheet into uh, go to Google Sheet. Create new Google Sheet like any 10 and copy the URL. Okay, I just copied the URL. Select the uh, your latest credential that you have created and select Sheet with document and append or update row. Just keep it by default and you have to uh, paste your url here okay then you have to type this sheet one one and uh, mapping will be automatically map map automatically you have to select and that's all you have to do okay it's time to test now okay let me just open the uh, whatsapp Make sure you are using the same phone number that uh, that is showing your uh, Meta application. Okay, this application API setup, this phone number. Okay, go to N10. All right, I'm expecting to save this message into here. Okay, testing again. Okay, so I. First, you have to click on uh, execute, execute workflow. It will execute. Waiting for trigger event. Now you have to trigger the event. Let's, let's test again. 
okay here you can see trigger event ran and it is getting saved into google sheet and here you can see our message got saved that's all you have to do if you want this workflow you can let me know in the comment section i will put the link in the comment section and uh, if you, if you are facing any problem you can let me know as well